All right, hi everyone. So for discussion number five, you're gonna be uh, looking at the first part of chapter three. So what I want you to be looking at this week um, is a lot having to do with the types of claims, right? So the first half of this chapter. So you're gonna read the article below on the eight ways that screens are ruining your family's life. Kind of a interesting read. It's very easy to uh, poke some holes in it. So I hope you start to do that. Um, kind of thinking critically, building on what we learned in chapter two. So you're going to read the article, and then I want you to answer the four questions that come next um, about the article. So first, um, something that we're going to practice a lot this semester, I want you to summarize the article in just like one to two sentences, right? If you were to tell me what it was about, and uh, be sure to include the author's conclusions and findings in your brief summary. So that's the first thing. Summarize it and include um, the findings or like the assertion that she's making. Uh, two, I want you to think about the three types of claims that are discussed in the first half of chapter three. So things that I want you to um, reflect on for number two. I want you to talk about what type of claim is the author making in this article? Right, so the author is making a claim. Is it a frequency claim, an association claim, or a causal claim? The second part of this is, is the author's claim accurate or justified? In other words, is the type of claim the author is making in the article actually the correct type of claim according to your reading? Right, so I want you to explain, does her type of claim match um, what it actually is? Are they one and the same? Hint for this, so I want you to explain, but hint, if you're having a hard time determining the type of claim for the article, think about a couple of things. Think about whether the variables were measured or were they manipulated? Do we change them or do we just measure them? Uh, that might be something that helps you. And then are they related to each other? Do they have a relationship? Or can we determine that they cause each other? Those two little hints right there might help you to answer that part. So what type of claim is she making? And does that match uh, what type of claim it actually is and explain? Number three, find two different examples in the article of terms or variables that need to be operationalized. In other words, they need an operational definition in order to be successfully measured and or evaluated. As you were reading the article, if you come across a word and you were wondering to yourself, what do you mean by that? That would be a great example of something that probably needs an operational definition in order to be discussed or measured or evaluated. So find at least two different examples. There are quite a few of them. Uh, finally, I want you to think about potential third variables and or the bi-directionality effect. How else could any of the variables or aspects things talked about in this article possibly be explained? Is there a third variable? Is there something else that could contribute? Could you talk about how they could move in a different direction with bi-directionality? Uh, reflect on that a little bit. So read the article, answer the four questions, and I will look forward to seeing what you come up with.